everybody. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today is grocery haul day, you guys. It is Super Double Coupons at Harris Teeter. Started this morning, October the 2nd at 7 a.m. And it's going, I think, until the 8th. So if you have not gotten out there to get your deals, let me encourage you. Go ahead and get your deals. I was, we really didn't need a whole, whole, whole lot of things. But I wanted to get some uh, super double deals and decided to see what I had coupons for. Now, I used 15 coupons today. I do plan to go back and use as many this week for free items as I can get. So let me share with you guys what I was able to get today. So we picked up these La Banderita carb counter wraps. These are the low carb tortillas. They were $3.49. We picked up a um, point uh Pork tenderloin at $8.49. It's a little expensive, but it's pretty big. So we'll be able to get two, maybe two meals out of that. These uh you buy Kotex were two for eight or four dollars a piece. I had a dollar off that doubled to two dollars, so these were two dollars. Cheese was two for five, no coupon on that. This country crop plant-based butter, which it's not keto friendly, but it is um It is uh, vegan friendly. So this was three for, it was two for seven or 350 each. No, that's not true. Let me see. It was buy one, get one free. For, for something, buy one, get one free. Let me check my receipt because I want to tell you what it was for real. The country crop, let me see. Okay, it was four forty nine. Buy one get one free. So it was like two dollars and a quarter. I had a dollar off coupon that doubled to two dollars. So I paid twenty five cents each for these plant based butters. Um, thick bologna was ninety nine cents. This was three ninety nine. These downy unstoppables. I had a two dollar coupon that doubled to three ninety nine. This was free. These Vaseline. They were th uh, two for seven or three fifty each. I had two dollars off that doubled to three fifty. These were all free. Uh, this is some of the coconut cream half and half. This was two for six or three dollars each. This whole earth erythritol was four ninety nine. I had a two dollar off coupon that doubled to four dollars, so I paid ninety nine cents each. They had the single packets for $3.99 and those packets would have been free. But I wanted to try this larger one, so I was okay paying 99 cents. It was regularly $6.99. The Sola Granola is buy one, get one free, so we picked up two of those. The all um, free and clear, or all the all products were two for six, so $3 each. I had a dollar off coupon that doubled to $2. I paid a dollar a piece for those. Anytime I can get dish uh, uh, laundry soap, dish soap, these tabs on sale, I go ahead and grab them. This Kerrygold, this is uh, cheddar cheese, was $4.49, buy one, get one free, so I picked up two of those. And then these Purina um, Chunolas, these are for dogs. They were two for six or three dollars each. We had a dollar off coupon that doubled to two, so we paid a dollar, and there's two of those little bone things in there. And then I got a markdown uh, steak, was four sixty eight, so there's two steaks in there. So my total, my total balance was forty nine dollars and two cents. I had twenty one dollars in manufacturer's coupons, eighteen ninety nine in doubles, thirty eight in VIX savings. I saved sixty two percent, or seventy eight dollars and two cents. So my whole uh, bill was like $128 for this, and I actually just paid $49. So that's one haul. Then I went over to Walmart and picked up the rest of what was on my grocery list. So we needed some heavy whipping cream at $1.60. The butter I usually get for $2.98, they were totally out, so I got this salted butter. It was $3.28. Uh, blueberries were three, uh, 236. Strawberries were 218. These are the baked believes, no sugar added, semi sweet chocolate chips. They are 
Let me see. Let me make sure I can tell you the right price. $3.98. Normally when I buy the lilies, they're $6.99 at Harris Teeter. So these say all natural stevia sweetened bacon chips for $3.98 at Walmart. These uh, drink packets were a dollar. G Hughes, we got that was $3.29. We got some soy sauce for $1.24. Glory Greens were $1.24. Picked up three cans. Picked up some chicharrones, so pork rinds, they were $2.36. And I got two bags of these. The kids and I have opened one already. Picked up two packs of chicken thighs, $4.95, and I think that's $4.89. The jumbo tail on shrimps, but they have been deveined, were $5.42, I think. Tilapia was the same, $5.42. Picked up four pack roll of angel soft tissue, four broccoli, and then we picked up a sausage for breakfasts. And we spent right at $79.62. And my budget for Walmart was $80. So I had a total budget of $130. I had, no, I had $136. So this was $80. And then over here, I spent another $49. So I came in right at $100. $30 and I have $6 remaining in case I need to buy anything else. So let me take you to my meal planner and share with you my meal plan for the week. Okay, you guys, so I am still planning using my Life and Apples meal planner. And here is what I'm thinking for this week. Again, I put meals down for dinners but these could change dates, so I'm okay with that. I just needed to fill in my spaces. I can always change these. So here was my shopping list, and we got everything that was on our list. So that was helpful. This is for the week of September the 29th through October the 5th. Well, the 7th. The 7th, because I plan Wednesday through Tuesday of the next week. So instead of carrying me into ne the next week, I just use these top two days for the 7th and the 8th because my grocery stores start their sales on Wednesday. So I just plan for Wednesday through the Tuesday of the next week. Um, here are my notes. Remember down here, this is where I would put anything that is coming up this week. So on Friday, we have Taekwondo. I'm not going to take the kids to Taekwondo tomorrow because I have not been feeling well. And I want to make sure that I can come home from work and rest. I had to, I left work early today and I did not, and I left work early on Friday. Just something in my chest is not feeling good. It's like a, one of those end of the summer colds or whatever, but I rebuke it in Jesus name. But I'm going to stay home tomorrow from Taekwondo. And I actually just started working back out at the gym. So I don't want to aggravate anything by getting sick. On the 5th, I'm having a home goods swap, so I know that I'm going to be gone in the morning. On the 6th, um, we have a family in our Taekwondo studio that is receiving meals. So we are doing a rotisserie chicken meal. I'm just going to go to Sam's and get a chicken and some sides. I don't have time to cook because they live um, in a different town than where we live. And they, when we go to church, I'll just leave church, hit Sam's, pick up everything I need to deliver this meal, and then I'll circle back around and come home because we live a little bit far from where our Taekwondo uh, Dojong is. Monday the 7th is homeschool day, and then on the 8th, we have prayer, Taekwondo, and I also sing. So those are the things that I know that I'm going to be doing. So with what I picked up today for tonight, which is Wednesday the 2nd, we're going to do a pork loin with some broccoli and butter. We're trying to reduce the amount of dairy we really take in, so I'm going to not put cheese, but I'm going to do bacon and butter. Tomorrow night, we're hopeful to have a Mississippi roast. Now, we have tried to cook this Mississippi roast for two days. The first day, which was yesterday, we forgot to cut the crock pot on. Today, we find out that the power went out, and so the crock pot did not stay on. So we are going to let it cook overnight. And prayerfully in the morning, it will be ready. If it is not ready by the third day, we are going to give up on the roast and move along. So I'm planning roast and cheese sandwiches that's left over from. It's a pretty big roast, so it should have some leftovers. 
Saturday when I have a little bit more time, this will be um, chicken and veggies, chicken thighs. I picked up chicken thighs. And then our biggest meal on Sunday is usually lunch. And I picked up a couple steaks. Alana does not eat steak, but Jackson will. So we'll have steak and we'll find something to go with that. Now for breakfasts, I'm just keeping it simple. We do have still a few breakfast sandwiches from when I did meal prep the other day. Uh, last week or the kids can have eggs and sausages because I bought eggs and sausage and I think we forgot to show that on the grocery haul hey did we get the eggs out of my trunk we did not so I'm sending one of the kids to get the eggs and then we got the solar granola which was on sale and so I'm going to let the kids have um, granola and milk they usually eat that like cereal and um, they'll have that Tuesday and Thursday, so tomorrow, and they'll have it Tuesday of next week. And then again, um, the breakfast cookies or sausages and eggs, and then we have breakfast sandwiches. Now, for Saturday for the Home Goods Swap, I'm going to be providing a light refreshment. And so I'm going to figure out some breakfast foods that are keto-friendly that we can have. We'll probably do some sausage balls and um, some fruit or something of that nature. And then usually on Sundays, the kids eat what they want. I usually just have coffee and I move along with my life. For Saturday for lunches, they're just gonna clean out the fridge. Whatever we have not eaten this week, we will eat it on Saturday. And usually that's how we do. We take leftovers for lunches. And so that is going to be our meal plan for this week, along with our grocery haul. So we do hope that you found this video very helpful i love a super doubles because i can always get my deals and i'm going to always get my deals if anybody thinks that i'm not they do not know shakima very well so let me live my best life and get my deals so anywho thank you guys so much for stopping by if you like it thumb it up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye y'all